Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, 9th March, we'll talk about Nathaniel or uh, Bartholomew, as he's, he was called. Um, one of the lesser known of the 12 apostles, Bartholomew is named in all three synoptic gospels. The list of the disciples is given in uh, Matthew 10, 3, Mark 3, 18, Luke 6 and uh, 14, Acts 1, 13. Since the 19th century, many have proposed that Bartholomew and Nathaniel were, were the same person. This is because the Gospel of John in 1, 45 to 51 links Nathaniel to Philip but fails to mention Bartholomew. Whereas Matthew, Mark and Luke name Bartholomew after Philip but omit Nathaniel from their list. His name Bartholomew meant son of Talmai. In uh, 2 Samuel 3.3, 3, it's mentioned that Absalom's uh, mother was Maka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. Absalom was David's son. Since Bartholomew is from the, this family, he can be considered as to be having royal blood in him. He hailed from the Galilean town of Cana. The name Nathaniel meant gift of God. Both Nathaniel and Philip of Bethsaida met uh, Jesus on the same day as he was journeying towards uh, Galilee. When Philip told him about Jesus of Nazareth, he was doubtful that any good could, could come out of that small place, but he obeyed Philip when he asked him to go and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael, he revealed a premonition he had of him under a fig tree, an appropriate place for rabbis to study and meditate. Quickly convinced of the power of Jesus, Nathaniel responded, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. We see this in John 1, 49. Jesus promised that he would see even greater wonders in the future. And indeed, Nathaniel was among those disciples to whom the resurrected Jesus appeared on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He was a very humble person interested in gaining the knowledge of God. And Jesus himself commended, uh, by saying, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. John 4, 1 and 47. Jesus also told him that he would see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Nathaniel spread the gospel in Iran and Persia. He concentrated on pro proving that the gods, uh, gods and goddesses of the other religions were weak. History says that he even visited India Arabia, Ethiopia, Libya, Martia, and Persia. He continued with his work for 16 years and was martyred. Some say that he was killed in Soviet Union. This might be true because he cured a princess in Albana and then proved to them the uselessness of the idols and the king along with several people accepted Jesus and were baptized. The king's brother Astegu and the priests were very angry with him and so flayed and beheaded him. St. Bartholomew Church was built in Rome where most of his body parts were kept while some parts were sent to other churches where he had established churches. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about Nathaniel who was interested in knowing more about Jesus. Yes, Lord, we all need that knowledge and wisdom from you. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.